Okay, so this is my follow-up trip, but I didn't video the diagnosis, so let's do this. This toaster wasn't working right. It says high, and they actually kept finding it, it would power off, and you would have to reset. So this is a VCT 2000. Go to parts town, look up the service manual on it. It tells you if it's saying high, what it is, is our primary plate. So this is heating the primary plate and it's heating the rollers. Air temperature, plate temperature. Well, this probe that runs to the air temp or to the plate temperature, when it fails, it says high temp. Now, when this fails and says high temp, these heaters keep running until it gets so hot that it shuts down. Uh, you'll also notice, if you look at the relays, this is the relay for the air temp, and this is the relay for the plate temp, and it is sporadically kicking on and off. Okay. So, I pulled this, uh, I checked my voltage, and again, when this is the solid state relay for the primary plate voltage, which is there and there. So I take your meter, 208, nope, dead. So I take my high temp plate probe, I check it for continuity, and it's open. I have no continuity, this is bad. So, new probe kit, check this out. Let's plug it in before we go through the big work. I know my probe was bad. So let me go back. When this is flashing high, the service manual says it's one of three things. Bad probe, bad solid state relay, bad computer board. So I took the, I don't know if you can see these legs of power right there, right? So that red one is L1 and then the black one is L2 and the uh, far black one on the bottom is L3. And actually it shows it really good right here. All right, so let's do this. So here's your auxiliary relay. And here's your primary, 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 your primary relay. So this primary relay coil runs up to T1, that's red. It jumps over, okay? So red feeds both, it's like the neutral. The center black, T2, runs to the primary relay. And the T3 runs to the secondary relay and it is left and right. So the left signal is what was working because my left relay is what was working. So I took T2 and T3 and I swapped them here. And what happened was this relay came on and my error changed to say low because that's what it says when this thermistor fails. So that let me know the relay is good and I tested the thermistor and it was bad. And the fact that I can plug in the new one and everything fires up, it's not the board. So here we've got our new one hooked up. I'm not gonna waste time mounting it yet because what if I was wrong? Oh, well, let's not catch the fan. Let's turn that on. Let it run its boot up here. Now it's, if I remember right, it's gonna say low until the air temperature reaches above 260 something. But notice it no longer says high. And now we have plate relay. So 100% bad pro. Um, I actually purchased an extra thermal reset because once you start blowing thermal resets they can be damaged so it's best practice to change the thermal reset 
with this just so you don't have recurring problems. But now when we take voltage across this primary, and I, I don't almost don't need to waste time doing it because I know our relays are lit. Hang on. This is a challenge one-handed. Here we go. 203. Now we're good and hot. All right, so I'm gonna pull the dead probe, power it down, pull the dead probe, and then we'll let her temp. All right, so take note when you take the old one off where it was so that the depth is about the same. And then it just feeds in. Like so. Okay, here's the things to watch out for. So uh, when I installed this, I zip tied so all the cabling is tight and nothing can move. All right, when we change the high limit, one, obviously take note of where it was pinched. So you have it the same depth in and I do. Um, but if this little cap tube, which is wrapped up, there's five feet of it. If this little cap tube, hang on, sorry. If this little cap tube touches one of these lugs, it's going to arc out and it's going to break that and then you're going to shut off. So two things, you've got a chain spinning in here that you have to stay clear of. So this is wrapped this way and then zip tied in. So we're clear of the electrical, clear of the moving chains. We're ready to fire it up. All right, so there you have it. Plate is at 466 degrees, set for 460. The air temperature is at 390. And you can see the plate temperature probe went off. Good to go. So the thermostat's doing its job. Stop it at 460. We're at 10. No high limit issues. Toaster revived.